Choke tackle is probably a phrase that you've heard quite a lot in rugby. It can sound quite grim, but actually it's a legitimate technique by the defence to try and either slow the opposition ball or to get a turnover themselves. But let's look at actually what a choke tackle is, because quite simply, it's a maul in midfield. We've got the reddish team here and the bluish team, and all the red team are trying to do is hold the ball and the player up so they get possession of the ball. If the blue player here, Leonardo, gets his knee on the floor, gets his knee to floor, that's then just a tackle and Michelangelo has to let go. But as soon as his teammate, Donatello, joins on to him, we've got a ball carrier, we've got a player from each side, so we've got a maul. And then it's all about whether Leonardo can get the ball out of that maul. What we often see is that maul ending up on the ground. No one's calls that. That's just momentum and players falling on top of each other. And then the ball doesn't come out immediately. Michelangelo's team gets the ball. But when we do have that maul, and the referee will often shout, maul, doesn't mean Raphael here can do what he wants. He's still got to join from the back foot and not collapse it. If he comes running around the wrong side, then he's offside. So Raphael, join from the back feet and don't collapse the maul.